The existence of cannabis addiction has long been controversial, especially among those in favor of changing drug policy. But between common sense and the research that exists, it is clear physical and psychological dependence exist with some users. What is addiction in the first place? People often think of addiction as a combination of physical and psychological dependence. With the way I use the term, addiction refers to psychological dependence, though I will discuss both. On the physical dependent side are tolerance and withdrawal, two things that often appear when someone is addicted, but they are not the addiction itself. Psychological dependence has a lot more to do with the individual user than the drug. Being unfulfilled in your life, having other mental issues, and having a history of trauma all make it far more likely that your use will be problematic. This is something that applies to most drugs. Cannabis addiction does present in a way that's notably different from other drugs. Relative to heroin or alcohol, for example, addicted cannabis users usually have a lower motivation to change their use due to there being a lack of drastic problems, such as socioeconomic downturn. Users often do report having concerns about their heavy use, and they recognize their lack of control, but they are also still largely functioning in an acceptable manner. At least given the current laws and the way drugs are used, this means cannabis addiction presents more like tobacco addiction than heroin or alcohol addiction. Physical dependence does exist with cannabis. Tolerance and withdrawal have been recorded and are quite common among daily or near daily users. It is certainly the case that withdrawal is not as uncomfortable as what you see with heroin, and it is not physically dangerous like with benzodiazepines or alcohol. But just because it's less significant does not mean it's non-existent. The withdrawal from cannabis is heavily biased towards behavioral and psychological disturbances, anxiety, irritability, rest Restlessness, sleep trouble, and decreased appetite are regularly reported. Some physical symptoms like nausea, headache, and a minor heart rate increase can appear, but they're less common. Withdrawal usually occurs within 12 to 24 hours of your last use. It peaks at 48 to 72 hours and is pretty much gone in one to two weeks. There is also a skewing of your motivation and reward systems that is particularly noticeable right after you stop using. This skewing leads to a stronger desire to use cannabis as well as smaller rewards and motivation when it comes to non-drug activities. Tolerance develops differently to the drug's various effects. Some tolerance occurs within a few days, and as it continues to build, the overall effects are reduced, you do need to use more, and the high is shorter. On the psychological side, there is a portion of those who use cannabis who will be addicted, meaning they will have low control over their use alongside negative consequences. Essentially, your desire to use the substance is not sufficiently being counteracted by your control mechanisms. Like with other drugs, cannabis can fill a void in someone's life, and it can be difficult to not use it regardless of the consequences. Cannabis affects dopamine reward pathways that are commonly associated with other activities people can be addicted to. Activity along these pathways influences your desire to use and also tunes your motivation towards drug use, which can make the withdrawal period more difficult. The psychological dependence on cannabis can in some ways be viewed as insidious. It can be easy to attach the drug to both fun and boring activities throughout your day, and that constant administration alongside daily triggers builds up habits and connections. In summary, physical dependence does exist with cannabis. It is not as severe as with many other drugs, nor is it physically dangerous, but it does exist nevertheless. Psychological dependence, which is what I'm really discussing when it comes to addiction, also can exist. Just like with other drugs and many non-drug activities that provide some benefit, you can become attached to cannabis and that can even have negative consequences. Because those consequences are usually not too severe, the motivation to change course is is comparatively low. At the end of the day, this means cannabis is like most other drugs. Problematic use is entirely possible, but it is far from guaranteed. And not everyone is equally vulnerable to the point where people in a positive life situation who also have strong mental control are very unlikely to be addicted. If you have any questions about cannabis addiction, feel free to leave them in the comment section. In order for the drug classroom to provide more education, support is necessary. And the best way to support 
is through Patreon at patreon.com slash the drug classroom. You can also contribute through YouTube, PayPal, or Bitcoin. You can connect with me on Twitter at Seth A. Fitzgerald and via email at Seth at the drug classroom.com. More information and links to references can be found on the TDC website using the link below.